Good morning and welcome back to the Social Stack 66 Day Challenge, Get Started in Social Media. I'm Amy Stack and today is 28 of our challenge, how to use tags and hashtags on Instagram. In this challenge, you will learn how to add tags and hashtags to your post. Before we do that, if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about marketing and social media for business, go ahead and start now by subscribing to my channel. Just tap that red subscribe button and then the bell icon. Let's get tagging. Once you have your photo selected, your edits made, and your caption typed, which you can go ahead and check out day 27 for a tutorial on all of that if you need to catch up, um, you, you'll also have the opportunity to add tags and hashtags. So I've got a post ready to go here. Got a little food shot there and I just wrote yummy. Okay, so once you're all caught up there, we're going to talk about the difference in tagging people, locations, and hashtags. So you can see the first option here is tag people. I'm just going to tap that. Okay. So you can tap your photo to tag somebody. Whenever you tag someone or a brand on Instagram, they'll get a notification and are instantly directed to your post. So that means they'll be much more likely to like or comment on your picture, thus increasing your engagement. So if I want to tap on it, I'm just going to find the person I want. And now I have tagged Theater Junkie in that image. So that's how you tag a person. I'm going to hit done for that. And I'm going to hit add location. All right. So for tagging locations, this is where location tagging um, can help you. Adding a location to an Instagram photo or video can be useful for letting your followers know where you are without stating it in the caption. So it'll save you some text in the body of your post. It also helps your engagement rate on Instagram and it will give you more exposure and attract customers with minimal effort because people can um, search through locations for photos as well. So let's say I want to say I'm in Elmhurst. I could do that. I could hit the X if I don't like that and add a location. So you can see there's a whole bunch of things in here. Um, let's hit search and there's a restaurant down the street for me called the Winking Dog. So let's say that's where I was eating. I could tap the name of that restaurant and then they would be tagged in this post okay so that is people and locations and then last is hashtags so that's not a field on here that's actually you're going to just type those right into your post so i have yummy up there i'm just going to tap on that and you'll see there's actually the hashtag or the pound sign on your keyboard now in the bottom right if you're on iphone i'm not sure where it would show up on an Android, you might have to hit shift to get to it. However, you can go ahead and tap that hashtag key on your keyboard and then start typing a word you want to tag. You'll start to see suggestions pop up as well as the amount of times that tag has been used. So I had yummy here. Um, I actually made this with a sous vide last night. So I'm going to start typing in sous vide. And you can see I get some options in here. So the sous vide hashtag has been used 562,000 times, whereas sous vide cooking has been used 69.9 thousand times. So you can see how many times and how popular those posts are. Okay, or those hashtags, not those posts. So you can just tap one of them. Maybe I want to put dinner time. Okay, whatever you want. See, that one has 8 million, so a lot of people are doing that. Okay. So that's how you add your hashtags in. So just tap the ones you want to include, and then let me know in the comments which was your favorite that you found for your post. If you guys want a more in-depth look at how, when, and why to use hashtags, go ahead and check out my video. I'll include it in the card here and my blog post called Let's Talk Hashtags. The link for that will be in this video's description. So I go in-depth in how, when, and where to use hashtags and, and what the best combinations of them are. Um, so that is adding your people, your location, and your hashtags. So that's going to conclude our training for the day. Um, Obviously, when you're ready to go, you're just going to hit OK, and then we'll go ahead and hit Share again, as we did in our previous post. 
So remember to join me tomorrow at 7.30 for our next challenge. We're going to go over cross-posting on multiple accounts and platforms at the same time. I'll see you then.